Hi guys, welcome to Old Smoking Steve's. Uh, today I got a good one for you. Uh, just got this in the email the other day. Uh, I got the uh, Barbecue Guru uh, DigiQ DX2. And uh, what that is, it's an automatic temperature controller for your smoker grill. And I'm really excited to bring this to you. Uh, I know uh, some of you out there struggle with uh, getting your uh, grill uh, regulated to temperature uh, 225 250 or whatever uh, and this will help out immensely uh, should take care of that problem and uh, those that have that mastered uh, if you're going to do a long cook uh, say uh, four hours eight hours 12 hours 17 hours whatever uh, you can set this thing and uh, uh, it'll continue to keep the temperature at uh, whatever you have it set at uh, you don't have to keep going back and uh, bumping the dampers or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a review on this thing and I'm going to cover it uh, pretty thoroughly. Uh, I want to give you all the information I can. Uh, before, we get, before we get started on that, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Lisa Joe and Donna and the whole crew there at uh, Barbecue Guru. And I uh, appreciate their efforts uh, in making this uh, review possible. Okay guys, uh, I want to show you this uh, controller here. Uh, it's kind of the brains of the outfit and uh, tells when the uh, tells the blower when to come on, shut off. Uh, here it is, a little compact unit. Uh, this particular one is green. Uh, it comes in black, blue, and uh, also I think they have a, a pink one. So uh, on the front of this guy, uh, first of all, you know it's all metal, uh, nothing shaking, nothing rattling. It, it's really thought out and uh, thought out well and uh, really nice uh, on the front of it the buttons here uh, left to right uh, you have an up button on the far left and next to it the down button and uh, if you hit both of those together uh, that will access the menu and then you can step through the menu and uh, set all your tolerances, tolerances that you want and uh, Next to that, uh, second from the right, you have your uh, pit button, and uh, finally on the right, the food button. And if you hit both of those together, that will uh, power on the unit. And uh, down below here, uh, this is where all your connections will plug in. Over here on the far uh, left, uh, you have your 12 volt DC, that'll plug in here. Uh, actually it's uh, 110 volts you plug it into 110 and it, the voltage is stepped down to 12 volts so that will plug in here uh, your blower will plug into the second one then you have your uh, pit probe that will monitor uh, the temperature of your uh, grill and then you have a uh, food probe and uh, you can either use the uh, food probe or not uh, I probably won't. I have an ink bird that I may be using. Uh, that way I can monitor the temperature in the house or what have you. Uh, on the back of this guy, uh, you have a quick menu guide. Okay, you can uh, set the alarm, uh, raise or lower it, uh, both on the uh, pit and the food. Uh, and there's a ramp mode. Uh, you can turn that on or turn it off. Uh, I'll probably have it shut off. Uh, it, it's a really cool feature. Uh, the way that would work is, uh, like uh, let's say you're cooking something and, and the uh, done temperature of the meat would be 165 degrees. So you would set your food temperature at 165. And if you have this uh, ramp turned on, uh, once it gets it within 30 degrees of that 165, it'll start bringing that grill temperature down so your meat won't overcook. So, uh, you know, if you're cooking, it's getting late at night and you want to go to bed and you're afraid maybe the food's going to get done, you know, in the middle of the night, you can turn this ramp mode on and it's not going to overcook on you. Or maybe you want to go uh, play around of golf or go fishing or go to the beach, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, this is going to take care of your temperature. It's going to keep your temperature regulated for you. And if that ramp mode's on, uh, it won't overcook your food. Nice, huh? 
Okay. Uh, also, uh, there's a beeper intensity. You can uh, raise that or lower the beeper. And uh, another cool feature is the open lid, open lid detection. Uh, what that does is, uh, if you happen to open the lid, uh, this guy is going to sense a drastic drop in temperature, so the blower is not going to come on, which is what you want, because uh, when you open that lid, of course the temperature is going to drop, and uh, while that lid is open air is going to be rushing in there and it's going to be uh, trying to light more charcoal and stuff uh, when that lid's open so uh, you don't want this blower on and uh, once you shut that lid that temperature is going to climb back up by itself and it's probably going to go over temp which is normal uh, uh, but this uh, lid sensor open lid sensor will take the uh, blower out of the equation and uh, once that temperature comes back down, drops down below set temperature, that blower will come back on and continue to keep the temperature just where you have it set. So that's what that is. And uh, then you have uh, degree select uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, then over here on the right, it shows uh, some different displays. Uh, if your food is done, it'll display DON. If it's over temp, it'll say high. If it's under temp, it'll say low. And if you happen to have a bad sensor, uh, you'll have uh, three bars across there. And uh, also, uh, you can, uh, there's a scan mode. Uh, it tells you here on the back, uh, pit food scan mode. So you have a choice of using the food probe or not using it. Okay, the uh, way you would activate the uh, pit and food scan is hit the uh, pit and up button and that'll uh, turn the scan on so it'll uh, uh, alternate between the uh, food and the pit temperatures. And uh, they sat along this little case, a little uh, bag you can put your controller in there or your devices and this here is the uh, pit viper this is the blower itself uh, that will plug in to your controller and what's uh, kind of unique about this thing it has a uh, damper on it. Uh, all grills aren't created equal. So, uh, you have small grills, you have larger grills. Uh, they use different fuels. Uh, some are more efficient than others. So on this blower they've put a damper. You can open and shut this damper. There's like uh, three positions marked on it here. On the back there's like three slots. Uh, all the way up is all the way open and if you take it down to the uh, first notch that's a third closed or two-thirds open next notch is a third open and the next one is fully closed so uh, I have the uh, acorn char griller and it's a pretty efficient grill so uh, I'll probably start out with the uh, third open uh, acorn uh, Kamado doesn't uh, require a lot of air so uh, I'll probably start with uh, the third and uh, take it from there and see where we go and uh, also depending on what grill you have or smoker they make adapters and uh, I went to their website and uh, scrolled through uh, all the different grills and smokers they have and uh, tried to count them and I kind of lost count at 216. Uh, so uh, chances are they have one for your grill. Uh, you can check this uh, website out here that I have uh, listed down below and uh, go see if your grill's in the list 
and check pricing and uh, look through the website they got a lot of cool stuff on there then uh, you get a pit probe this is the pit probe with an alligator clip uh, that'll clip right on the grate and that'll monitor uh, your grill temperature and also you have a meat probe and then of course uh, power supply 110 volt power supply uh, step down to 12 volts to uh, power the controller and the blower okay guys uh, I'm gonna kinda show you what the uh, theory is on this and how it's supposed to work uh, first of all I got the uh, power plugged in I uh, got the blower plugged in and the pit probe. I uh, just got the pit probe hanging here. Uh, but anyway, uh, two power buttons here on the right. We're going to power it up. Okay, it's showing a pit temperature of 79. So evidently it's about 79 here in, in the house. Uh, now I got the uh, pit temperature. Let's set it at about uh, uh, 225 is good. We got it set at 225. So uh, I don't know whether you can hear it or not, but the uh, blower is on. So uh, I'll show you here the blower. Okay, the blower is on. So uh, that would mean that the uh, blower is blowing air over the charcoal and it's trying to heat that grill up which it will so uh, and also uh, like I said before you can control this uh, the amount of air uh, with this damper here okay so the more efficient your grill is the more closed that will be or probably the uh, smaller the grill is uh, that'll be uh, more closed as well so uh, then once you get up to uh, closer to your uh, set grill temperature uh, this thing's going to start to uh, just give you short puffs of air as it gets closer to your set temperature so I'm going to go ahead and lower the set temperature a little bit uh, you know we don't have this the grill going or anything but uh, I'm going to go ahead and lower the uh, set temperature to simulate getting closer to our temperature Okay, I got it set at 109. Okay, that's lowered a little bit more. Is the fan still on steady? Okay, right now I got the uh, pit temperature set at, uh, let me check it, 97, and the uh, it's showing the pit temperature as being 79, and as you can see, it's off, it's on, it's off. it's on so uh, the closer it gets to your set temperature uh, the less it's going to run and then once it gets to uh, set temperature it's going to shut off uh, to help regulate that temperature for you so uh, what we're going to do is uh, get this all disconnected I'm going to get it outside uh, put the uh, adapter on my uh, Acorn Kamada and get this thing hooked up fire up the grill and uh, put it put it through its paces